Hello and thank you again for joining this channel. This is the debrief part of a remote pairing session that I had with Bastien and we will discuss about how the code looks after two sessions of TDD with the purpose of tests that tell a story. We arrived in a situation where the code isn't that nice but we don't know exactly what to improve and this is a normal situation when you do TDD and we call it code entropy because Code entropy means a kind of a lack of disorder or, or predictability. It's a kind of a status of the code where you don't know exactly what to do. It's messy and the only thing you can do is add more tests. While you add more tests, you'll see that some of the design elements will structure and you'll see how the code emerges into something that's a lot more nicer, easier to understand. So. I hope you'll enjoy this chat with Bastien and until next time, as always, have fun coding. So how was, how was this, uh, the second part of our endeavor to implement this pancata with uh, tests that, that tell a story? Uh, I feel that we focused a bit less on the story part and a bit more on uh, how we can uh, actually write different tests with mocks, spies and this kind of thing and I enjoyed it because this is one of the things I wanted to talk about and, and play with. Uh, I'm, I'm very... Uh, actually right now I'm telling myself okay if we introduce the concept of events in the code maybe we can just get rid of many different things that we have done about here, mm -hmm. like box and these kind of things. So uh, that would be a very different subject, but writing this kata using uh, a different sourcing approach would be very fun too. Um, now how about the test we wrote today? Uh, I think it was easy for us to keep writing uh, stories because we did it last time. Uh, maybe, maybe we can still work on uh, how we can improve a bit the readability of the code, because if you look at how this, there are there is still a few lines of code to write this, mm -hmm. and this is not something that is very very easy to to read. I have no clue about how we could make it simpler mm -hmm. right now, but uh, maybe there's some work here too. So you didn't feel we rushed through the code, it's just that now we don't have better ideas on how to refactor it? Yes, I think, uh, at least I cannot see how we can do this in a better way. Yeah, I, I think we need more tests to see how it goes along, and that's why I think I typically accept this type of uh, let's say not necessarily bad code, but it's kind of a code entropy. Except this in while writing the tests because it's better, I learned that from experience the hard way, that it's better to leave the code like that rather than extract very often uh, and very soon things that aren't necessarily the same. So then you start having a mess of a lot of structures that don't make any sense just because you extract it too soon yes i completely agree with this and uh, i was happy that uh, you stopped me from working on the extraction of the transfer functions because uh, it's very clear that right now it's too soon to think about stuff like strategies or, or patterns like this uh, maybe it will come maybe it won't yeah but let's not make the code more complicated for, yeah. no, for no reason. And our purpose was to go on that list of uh, features. We have the simplest uh, transfer that can work, then it's not that important. If we'd like to go very deep in the transfer, probably we wouldn't reach the account statement. So that's also the thing. Yes. So I, I think it would be interesting to go 
kind of shallow on all these uh, ideas from the readme file from what we want to do next do everything and uh, like then the statement printing and the statement filters and then see if we want to very go very deep into types of deposits types of transfers types of withdrawals and types of accounts and so on yes and uh, I would be very interested in uh, seeing how much code we rewrite, how much code we, we throw away, mm -hmm. uh, because the more we are going to understand exactly uh, what a good design for us would be, uh, the more uh, the code should change. And uh, uh, I can enjoy actually doing this. Uh, it's not like rewriting the same code several times, it's more like you have picture of what uh, a good design is right now with what you know and then when you dig deeper uh, you understand that actually it's not exactly how you thought it was it's a bit different and so your code should change and the easier uh, the code is to change the better the design is it's some kind of um, I don't know uh, a way to see if uh, your code is good enough or not mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds very interesting. So we're happy with the code we have until now. I, I like it. I don't think I think I mean there are small improvements, but I, I don't think we need to focus on bits of pieces. For our current understanding of what we want to do, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, we we can do better, but we can only do better when we know more about the problem we are trying to solve. Yeah. Okay, so I guess that was all for today. Thank you for pairing with me and see you and until next time, uh, have fun coding. Thank you very much, see you soon.